Hello everybody, Paul here. We're into day three now. Thanks for watching the last two videos on the fundamentals. Um, this time we're going to be looking at the swing and in particular the takeaway. Three points I wanted to discuss. That's the path, the club face and the connection. So let's get to it. So the first movement off the ball is uh, crucial really for the sequence of the swing to follow in good order. Um, when I'm teaching it can cause you know, many problems. Some players work in the club too, too inside some players to outside. So obviously some, some uh, manipulations may need to happen here to get the club to return to the ball, which is fine if you can do it every time. You know, Lee Trevino was, was one of these players that sort of worked it up and looped it under and was able to repeat that swing. So um, what I'm saying is if we can keep it relatively neutral, it's gonna offer um, better support to the rest of the swing. Um, so the, the movements I was talking about there you know, let's just talk about the inside movement so you can see the club's working very low and around my body. Again, it may cause me you know, to push some shots if that takes place. Or, you know, again, I could make some corrections during the swing and come over the top. Um, some players obviously work the, the arc of swing just a little bit too far outwards. Again, there's going to need to be some form of... Um, inside transition for us to reroute the club and get it back onto the ball otherwise we're just going to come down really steep and across it so this is why it's important if we can start the swing off correctly it's going to allow us to swing more efficiently more consistently with ease so a good way just to check to see how the takeaway is moving through its path is just to set up something like this um, where really i'm aligning the uh, diagonal stick there to the angle of my shaft i've got the upright stick roughly in line with my uh, ankle and from here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to you know it's going to actually make connections I'm going to swing back I'm going to let the club work on a on an inward arc okay keeping the club head low to the ground and following a point where I touch uh, the upright stick there and that would give me a good line a good path of takeaway so I can check that I'm doing that correctly um, from, from the ball to roughly hip height and allowing the club to work back into the right position. So we're now on to the second phase of the takeaway. We're going to be looking at the club face. Now what I consider the club face to be square is when it's in the same line as my spinal tilt. So as I'm swinging the club away, we've got a little angle pointing down and again it's roughly going through the angle of my body. So that for me would be what would, I would consider a square position. I guess there's been a little bit of misconception in the past where the toe edge of the club would face directly up to the sky. Okay, so in my eyes that's going to create an open position, return the club you know, to the right, and I may need to just make some form of correction through the ball to hit it straight. So, we're now going to just use a uh, tennis racket just to give you an example, drills for you to use you know, at home just to check that club face position. So, we've got this, the strings here, you're going to set yourself up in your normal position. Again, this is what I'd be looking for really as a square club face. I open club face where my strings would now face towards the sky. Okay, I've actually just rolled my hands a little bit and again what would happen is the club would return or the racket here to the right and I'd have to make these corrections to try and square that club. In the reverse a closed uh, club face or the head of the racket here would, would point down towards the ground. So as I return towards impact it would be closed facing to the left and I would need to then just try and correct that for me to try and hit the ball straight. So give the uh, tennis racket a go, it's really good just to see the club face and the angles. Right, so final stage, keeping everything connected, so the blending of club head, hands, arms and body because we've got to you know, work everything together. So here I've got a few stations set up, this is for my hand path. This again is for my swing path for our takeaway position. So I've got, a, got myself in position. I'm going to allow the club to work back. Again, I'm going to sort of keep the connection in here. Okay, you can see that I've turned from my trunk as well, as well as using my hands and arms. And the reason for this, you know, some players will get high hands and then get the club sort of working behind their hands too, too quickly. Or of course, just, just the wrong path. So we wouldn't blend the, the movement together properly there. So this, this little exercise just helps the, 
the hands to stay in the right position, the right uh, hand and arm path, as well as the club head linked into the movement of the trunk. So there's a couple of exercises that you can use, um, one with a club here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the uh, butt end of the club into my belly button. Okay? I'm going to extend my hands and arms uh, down the shaft in order to keep my, my arms straight and the fulcrum's coming from the core. So if you're in this position here, all we're really going to do is going to keep the butt end of the club into the body as I turn back. Now, this is also very, very good to keep the width, and you'll see that my hands are approximately a foot outside my back foot, which is my right foot. So that just is enabling me just to keep everything working together, blended beautifully to help you, you know, keep that um, nice connection between the club head and arm. You can also use is a small soft ball, placing them within the crease of the elbows and keeping the ball into the chest. And again, what I must do is just keep that ball in the same position. So I'm not moving, manipulating any, any change with my arms and keeping it all working back together. If I didn't use my uh, trunk turn, you know, my chest working with my hands and arms, perhaps separating my arms, the ball's gonna fall away. So, you know, it gives you great feedback straight away. So guys, that completes uh, the session on the takeaway. Good luck with that and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks very much for watching.